Hello everyone and welcome to the top four of the first ever Star Wars Destiny World Championship. I'm Zach. And I'm Steven. And on the left we have Daniel. On the right we have Dylan. Both playing the exact same copy How is of that possible? Vader Raider. How did these two random players just show up in the exact same day? They're not so random. They know each other. Sith Holocron dropping on Dylan's side of the board first on the Tusken Raider. And they were playing a very unique version of this deck, something a lot of players weren't doing. Uh, a lot of cheaper cards like On the Hunt and Sith Holocron or Take Cover. Getting a lot of cards out of their hand using Balanced Ambition, an incredible card. Drawing back up and using those to re-roll with Vader or Raider and to get the important assets to use with Sith Holocron. Because the deck is really all about maximizing those Vader dice. You're trying to hit six damage off of Vader every turn, if at all possible. And so we have Sith Holocrons giving a lot of great upgrades. We have Tusken Raiders being upgraded to do instant cast or instant speed, force throws, mind probes, this kind of thing, as a bit of a secondary threat to take the heat off of Vader so that those dice go essentially uninterrupted. So you're, you're providing two threats all at once. It's very hard to know who to focus on. A lot of players will tell you Vader. A lot of players will say, if you have the opportunity, take out the Tusken early just to, so you can get that threat off the board, prevent that like instant force throw, which can be absolutely devastating, especially in a mirror match here where Vader's three die getting thrown at him all of the sudden can be a real problem. Absolutely. I think uh, you we have, have five showing off that force training. Boom. Oh, nice. The, he doesn't like you. Get out of the Holocron die, really signaling that he doesn't have a, a mind probe or anything to use with it. But That's I think true. I think once the Tuscan has Holocron on, I'm more nervous. And then if he has a mind probe, you just got to go for it. Discarding the force throw, hit a real gets tough. the special. Oh, and hits the special after discarding the, the force throw. And sticks on throw. Vader. So I think he's showing four or five damage there between Vader and the training. Vader on Daniel's side going, yeah, it looks like four sticks. Um, and we have six coming back in from Daniel. Not using the instant. That's uh, crazy damage. Yeah, it's awesome. This is actually the, the Vader's what got me onto the low dice theory, just because he can actually win a game. Oh, and another force throw. There That's why. That's magical. Beauty. And he's not Total rolling beauty. It in. And there's six coming through. And looks at yeah. look, look at where it's going. These guys will know how to defeat their own deck certainly. So we'll see what the theory is here. Well, and again, the, the damage curve Tusk in there. of this deck is different. It can actually do a bunch of damage very quickly. And once that force throw comes onto that Tuscan, you you You've pretty go well it, yeah. have to get it off the board, yeah. Daniel here signaling, you go on Vader, you go on Tuscan. It looks like I'm four on Vader. So they're taking different routes. Yeah, different routes. And, and it may come, three. come right down to whether or not that Tuscan has an actual asset on it after that Holocron. So we have a first turn, the Tuscan not getting upgraded. There's the Hunker Down going on Vader, so good. Uh, not get that force throw or mind probe out, so Tuscan not a big threat right now. But Gonna on the focus hunt, on Vader. On the hunt's a solid. Strangely great card, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just. And now the Holocron moving over to Vader. So, and this is kind of the idea, right? Now now we know Daniel's going to have to swing in at the Tuscan to kind of finish him off yep. to get that force throw off the board. And Vader just kind of building his dice now. And sometimes players using most Eisley when they claim to bounce that Holocron, neither of these players uh, doing that, at least currently. So one resource, a lot of times a pretty good grab for a holocron bounce. You can just play it out next turn. Yeah, Both but I of think them you're, saying no. You're wanting to see those cards and absolutely, you've got to see those up. So having that holocron back in your hand and then spin in action at this point, you get your Tuscan down to two. You just roll Invader in Oof, here. Blank city. So we've got a bunch of blanks and a three, the three damage though, showing those sticks. So you can immediately get rid of that hunker down if it's not used. Discarding a card with Vader's ability. I bet you we see a hunker down. Yep, getting that shield before it's gone. Well, and now yeah, I'm not sure you go for it. I don't though. know. I think you still take it, Zach. I want to say, I mean, you've got two. You've got a force training at least that needs a uh, black damage, and Dylan not taking it. And I'm curious here. You're throwing in that Tuscan, and this is obviously well, if you show the special. You, if you hit nice, that, yeah, that's but true. But like, I kind of like waiting because, like, even here, now we have a holocron. So you yeah, gotta be careful. that's fascinating. Could have thrown that holocron in, and that's actually a question of whether or not you do throw the holocron. Could be instantly resolved here too, so it might not even be a choice. It, it may be that Dylan obviously also knows against Vader, you're losing one of your cards. Boom. Force throw in here. There's the force throw coming in. But uh, knowing that he's only got so many cards to reroll with, especially once Vader activates. Man, a force throw there. Money. Killer. Uh, and so maybe he just wants to get the Tuscan in to be able to reroll all those dice. Doing and three, then to doing three to Vader. All right, so just a different order there. So looking to see if the Tuscan can show the force throw and then going ahead and knocking off the hunker down. Vader over there at four for Daniel, and no. we got a Tuscan at six here, and Daniel I think that Tuscan is not long for this world. Oh man, a three and a two smash. No money on Dylan's side though. 
Man, three three damage though. Right there is the end of our Tuscan I, friend. I do love the aggression built into these decks. Yeah, it's a real slugfest. It feels like a, a heavyweight fight for sure. Um, so Tuscan doing a damage and then getting taken out by that Vader three damage. <laughs> Look at the back of his sleeves as a hunter. Yeah, so though. good, right? And there's another hunker down. MVP of the tournament, as we said in the other top four game. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. It's in every top top four deck. Hunker down, man. I mean, it is the meta call. If you're not playing Vader Raider, you're playing a ranged deck, generally. I mean, I, there's not a lot of variance there. Unless you're crazy enough to run something like Qui-Gon Ray. That's yeah, true, but then you're not in the top 16. That is right. Oh, man, another hunker down here in his hand, discarding it because... Because, you know, now fatality. it's just Vader versus Vader. If you so can get that fourth throw on the Tusken deal. here, that'd be money. Doesn't get it, though. Get some sticks on Vader. That's nice. Three... But it really just coming up blank on that Tuscan. Yeah, those force throws are just critical. You have to hit them. You know that. I know it goes without saying, but man, if you just don't hit those specials on force throw, it is nothing, and it gets really frustrating. So I've been shield there, Vader gets taken off immediately by Vader's damage. In case you were, didn't catch how that worked. Yep, taking a couple of damage there, and then pitching a take cover for a full on reroll. So he's a blank plus one and plus two, so that's not quite going to do it. And he spent a Vader damage earlier that could have paired with that plus two, but say la vie. Yeah, you probably gotta knock you gotta knock that on. There it is. Got There's the, the force throw. We're gonna we can't resolve it. I always forget. You try to auto resolve on a reroll. It doesn't work like that. Thank goodness. Alright, we're rolling here with Vader. Re -roll. Got the special. Alright, so we could potentially build up to something like a mind probe or a force throw here as well. And that may make it a tough choice because he's got the not showing the damage on Vader. He's gonna throw the Vader die at him for a shield. Alright, so give him the holocron here. A lot of flapping around there. A lot of flapping. Balance ambition. Is it happening right now? I think so. You draw five. Mm -hmm. Uh and you're going to get that special on the Holocron, so you're hoping for something Yeah, good, you right? got it. You, you're imagining you're definitely drawing an upgrade. If those that don't know, of course, Holocron, you can... Oh, and then he doesn't like you right there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure you play the Balance Ambition in that turn, but it's tough. That is really tough. Holocron, of course, being able to bounce to put a blue ability upgrade into play for free on that character. One more to Vader, and you see Dylan just sliding way behind on this curve. Discarding the Electroshocks to re-roll, may as well. Gets the special there, that's nice. All right, Force Training, that's probably a damage and a shield, if I'm thinking. Most obviously getting claimed by Daniel there. And then Dylan gonna go and do one and gain a shield. Or so a resource, up, up to, to six, him. and we'll see what he gains. Yep, gaining a, gaining a shield there. Gain a shield. So playing the fundies here. Oh, and backup muscle, nice. Backup muscle, then gonna do one more. So that uh, curve's getting a little bit better. It's fun to watch these guys. It's interesting also to remember that this deck took two of the top four slots. And I believe these are the only two guys running it. Which so is crazy. Well, obviously like, good like players and a good deck, yeah. And I think that's always been the trick of Vader Raider. Its damage curve has been very aggressive, and so you can either control it or not. And I think the meta was honestly just a low control meta. And they're also playing it a little differently to make sure they can re-roll those Vader dice and, and get that damage sunk in. Right. Here comes Vader before he dies. Vader on Vader. And there, dude, boom, get at least a two. Not ideal, but of course not a bad. And that, that Tuscan ability is so, so good with force throw. I mean, right now, you know, Vader rolls in, Tuscan has a shot to just throw a three right back at him, and that is such a terrifying threat. Very little you can do about it as well. And he's playing a force Throwing training. another force training, so let's just load him up. Yeah, he needs, he needs a home run here. And on the Another hunt on in the hunt. return. Also surprisingly great card. Oh, so good for this for this meta especially. Yeah. So good. As we mentioned, a lot of players on Hunker Down, a lot of players on Han Ray, just getting all those shields. Yeah. A lot of shield hate. Get rid of it. And then just pay one and remove a die. You have a die that removes a die. Always great. Yeah. It's like a built-in electroshock, removal. right? It's like that Rebel Commando from Spirit. All right, rolling Vader in. Now, this is going to be a big moment. So we're going to see... Hopefully some magic. Ugh, that's not quite enough. Got to focus. Got some sticks. Got some sticks, but this force throw here could just be absolutely devastating. Yep. You may so as well try you, for it, right? If you get that force throw and you throw a three back, it's bad news bears. Let's take a look. Daniel rolls Got it. it. Gets bad it. news beats. Nails it. That, to me, is the end of this one. Yeah, it's going to be tough for him to claw his way out of this. That's essentially kind of evening out the, the curve there. And yeah, there's the special. Let's go ahead and do three. 
And six to seven on Vader's with an untouched Tuscan Raider. And you have to ask yourself too, he doesn't like he doesn't you, like you on the two. So you have to ask yourself, you know, Vader's showing seven here. If that seven had been on the Tuscan, backup muscle gets rid of the Tuscan before Vader rolls in. Yeah, it's true. But then you have a full health Vader against, you know, I don't think that's, there's no real good way to work this. The, although you take a force there and two on the hunts off the board. That's what I'm then, saying. Yeah, that's pretty like solid. Like you built your Vader. But you imagine that this goes way differently if that's how the, the damage is stacked. You don't put that on the hunt. Yeah, I wonder if you even put a force throw over there. Good questions abound. We have three sticks over there from Dylan. See you later. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to... Oh, yeah, on the hunted. Obliterated. Yeah, double on the hunt is a problem. It's Vader's worst nightmare, really. Yeah. Actually, na the new version of Nightmare is Makashi Train. I saw that in the top eight of Destiny oh, Weekend. Oh, yeah, so good, right? Yeah, a double paddle on Ray with Makashi it was just Vader's end. Just beats him. Just beats him, yeah. But I don't know that he can win that game. All right, well, here comes Mind Probe. There's a Mind Probe. So this is an out, right? So so Dylan gives himself an out here. He needs to just hit a downtown roll yeah, and, and take Vader off the board first turn. It's a nice downtown. Obviously not so great with Vader's ability. You don't have to trigger Vader's ability from what I understand, um, but forcing them to discard a card obviously doesn't Mind Probe so well. Yep. Because you really need... F I mean, this is five right here. You need it immediately. And just takes another damage and just so, so close to death here. And still has to get past the Tuscan, which of course Vader has no real issue doing, but needs a solid turn to do it. I hear he's killed a few of those in his day. Yeah, apparently. Here comes all the dice, and we do need a bit of a home run swing here. And missed it. Oh, I got a gun on Mind Probe. That's actually the worst. Oh, there's the deflect. Oh, that's even worse. Insult. To injury there, so we're gonna take well, two. Not only is it the deflect, but it's also it could have been the force throw. Yeah. Right, three back at you. Yeah. Could, it could have been the special that he rolled, right? There's so many bad things that happen from that. A mind probe there would have been really solid. So now. Oh, well, backup muscle. Yeah, here we are. All right, so that's that's it. Showing the backup muscle. Uh, I had a four strike. So, had some outs. All right, that was game one going to Daniel. Let's go right into game two, and uh, we'll give you a little teaser here, guys. We do, uh, we are a retail store, of course, hey, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We sell things. So, we sell things locally and also online. You can catch that teamcovenant.com. And we have all manner of things for Destiny Saga tokens, which is a nice uh, premier token Acrylic set for the game. Upgrade, yeah. Uh, and then we also have Saga sets, which is essentially uh, complete sets of the game. One of each legendary, two of each rare, uncommon, and common. We've got those up for pre-order for various sets as they come out. And then uh, we also, of course, have just boxes and box subscriptions. So you can get your cards sent right to your door whenever a set releases, which is quite nice. Meantime, these guys have in rage literally into a force throw. gotten into the Ferrari here. Enrage, Force Throw, Tuscan with a Holocron, Classic Beats here. And sees the special, gonna go ahead and resolve it. Maybe, yes, no, discard a card. I don't think Not so. Not gonna do it. And over to Daniel, gonna roll Vader in. And now a much different game here. Vader with a force throw coming up early. Oh, nice. And sees just a ton Five of Five damage and two here. disrupt. Five, two disrupt. Gonna force this, force Dylan to spend money. Boy, I think we got five damage coming right down the pipe here. Oh, and enraging my own Darth Vader. We're both angry. It was me. And I'm going to smash two of that money there with the disrupt. Down to one. That's so good. Yeah, Vader's real powerful. And now we've got a Holocron being resolved for an Immobilize. immobilize. I'm glad to see Immobilize in these decks. One of my favorites. Hard to make it in. You, you often ask, I don't even know if they had Force Choke in here. I don't think so. All right, rolling blank, and but this you know, is why. As, as we know. This is why. All right, so now you immediately resolve because you don't want to get that Vader blanked. So five damage on Vader. Five up, Vader to Vader. So not going Tuscan this time. Not going Tuscan. I think this has to do with the fact that you know Holocron's around, but you also have five damage showing. So you can get you real... I mean, it's almost halfway through Vader there. Halfway through Vader, right. And rolling the one, not probably not going to discard a card. But you also don't have the Mind Probe coming on the Tuscan. Yeah. If that had been a mind probe, I think you have to go I Tuscan. I think you go first. Tuscan, yeah. Or, or even, even a force throw. throw. Agreed. Ditto. Because you can't just play those upgrades on the Tuscan. You have to holocron them in. Vader here discarding. He also rolls a holocron special. And this could be real good in Dylan's right. favor. Two Doing damage one. Here. So he's basically halfway home on Vader. 
And uh, now it's Dylan's time to uh, really shine here. Yeah, Daniel's built up a little bit better here in the first turn, but that force throw is crippling. And if he has Holocron here, it's great. But he does not, does not have anything to play out. That's going to be a problem. Rerolls looking like some, some bricks there. Yeah, that's a problem too. And just so does two damage. damage there to Vader. You can obviously see that exchange favoring. Yeah, not a great exchange. Daniel, there. a good bit. But he's got he's got potential here. I mean, I, I feel like he's definitely built the board a little bit. It de it just depends on if this holocron can hit or not. Yeah, but I think the, really the, needed to hit last turn. The trouble here is you have a Vader with six damage and holocron on. So if you drop an important asset on Vader, he's probably going to go away first. Yeah, and if this force throw rolls up, which it did not, it did not. So that gives Dylan an opening. In fact, that's one of the worst Vader rolls you can you can hit there. We gotta spend these resources probably before they get cracked. If they do, I mean, you may. As no, well. I think you kind of want them to spend that Vader die. On it's that. essentially like spending two resources to take a Vader die out of the pool, which yeah. is not a terrible trade. And there's uh, the three damage. Okay, I've that's done solid. That. Yeah. Yeah, three's fine. I could focus right into double threes. And good, dads there. And there's the only hunt. So it really has to make it happen now. Yeah. There's the three. So Vader going to six, so we got a tie game essentially here. Except for Dylan's down a Vader die, and there's the Holocron and the Tuscan. Holocron now that Tuscan. Dylan has committed damage to Vader, Tuscan showing his true colors. Yeah, but if you can get that Vader down in time, like right now, can you show me, a, do you even focus to a three maybe? It's tough to know. There's the resource and the shield. And we have an immobilized sitting there, so remember any kind of Vader rerolls can get a little bit controlled now. One thing Vader doesn't have, thankfully, is action economy. Does not, no. One day, though, Zach, I'm sure. The Tuscan does, though. Uh, there's a nice little two damage ah, off on yes. the Hunt Tuscan. From downtown. Let's see if Daniel has any upgrades with his Holocron in a second. Gonna blank one, the one. All right, so that's essentially preventing two damage. Gonna Holocron here. And oh, man, it could have blanked it. Ah, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's a force training. Rolling it in, getting a focus. That's so that can a be a lot of things yeah. in this kind of a deck. Like a three on Vader, force can be a throw. Force throw, yeah. And going to turn that Tuscan there to a three for one. Uh, he may have a four strike too. We could have be seeing six right here on Vader. Uh, I'm going to electroshock it. No, re rolling. Ah! He's going for the Gusto, man. Yeah, it's still on the table then. Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, man. Came up stick or That tense. is just. Excellent. And showing two damage. Showing Man. five damage and can even can even get more. All right, there's nine up to Vader. Boy, if we saw like a four strike backup muscle, that uh, it would could just be, be massive. Make the crowd go wild. Now but money's cracks gone. it for that reason. And this is mm, strong. Force Man, is strong. Yeah, with this I fight. feel like that actually could have been the play here. And now just Dylan having to try to find it out. See what he's got. Yeah, just does he roll old it? school sticks is what he's looking for here. And does not see it. He's getting the disrupts all at the wrong time. He had one last round that at the end of the round when Daniel didn't have any money. Versus Daniel had one early and smashed the money before Dylan could do anything with We've it. We've got six coming in here too. And one from the Tuscan. That's going to be a dead Vader without control. I think that's a dead Vader, Zach. Maybe as he doesn't like you though, eh? It's the only out here. We're nope. rolling. No. Ah, uh, blank city. Ah, no. oh, man, Daniel's probably feeling pretty good right now. The yeah, meter is shifting his way. You've got to love that. Claiming, ah, oh, pain. Oh, no, that's no good. Did he bounce the Holocron? Bounce yeah. the Holocron, yeah, yeah, gaining yeah. the money. Vader's going away. Ah, uh, just one turn behind, I think. You yeah, like in the first you know, game. Sometimes that comes up like that, and you just have to bear with it. This is looking... I mean, odds here are very, very, very poor for Dylan. But could have a downtime miracle here. Could see the uh, Mind Probe, which would be okay. But this Vader Raider deck is not all that susceptible because it can get cards out of hand pretty easily. Already seeing a take cover there. And you can go ahead and use it. Just Probably anticipating that Mind Probe, potentially. Gets a card out of hand and effectively gains a health, right? So that puts him at five. There's, mind Probe wouldn't do it. And sin is sitting Good here on Electroshock as well. And just blanks on the, the holocron. Not exactly what you needed there. It's cool to watch this deck both on both sides of the table, both games, where you see as soon as the, the player commits damage somewhere, they start building the other guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, double blanks on Vader is exactly right. what Dylan was Can needing. Can you feel there. your anger? Where's that control line? <laughs> yeah, right. Probably on the cutting room floor there. Probably the 35th card, 34th card. And there's the special on the uh, holocron. Now I like seeing two shields on the immobilized. Now we're like getting that. into danger. Oh, like for uh, shocking like it out. Shocking it. Just so having the answers. There's the control I was yeah, really looking just for. Yeah, taking all of the potential get back in the game plays out of Dylan's hand. That's not going to do it. You know, you can't sit on that. Reroll on the Tuscan. Gets He's a shield. Nothing but money. Shield, shield, shield. And on the hunt, of course, going to make all of that kind of worthless. It's kind of a problem, feeling. right? But not hitting much. Not yet. Now we got a big reroll coming, and this could just be the end. <laughs> could easily be the end. You know, it could just be nine damage out of that deck. Could put one shield here on the Tuscan. It's clever. You got to play around on the hunt a little bit, but there's nothing to do. I think Dylan knows this more than anybody. Having a good time with it. There's the immobilize. Well, and he keeps the immobilize in, so he could blank something. Lots of dice. Yeah, big old buckets full. I see some blank skis. That's pretty good for Dylan. Yeah, see, this is not what, this is not the Vader we were looking for. Dylan has one card left, showing a discard here on On the Hunt. So, Pays use, one. It, use it or lose it, man. Ah, oh, oh, there it is. It. All right, so All right there he's got some Vader play. Guy. And he's got a blank still on the immobilize. We're not out of here yet. And, but still looks like two cards in Daniel's hand. So just re-rolling for days. Yeah, re-rolling the whole thing. Keeping that Tuscan shield. Oh, man. Nope, just just smashes. Man, nothing. Boy, Daniel could have ended this a couple of ways. And didn't. And, and just but this, this is what it happens with Vader, right? Like, Sometimes, he can, he can yeah. also just roll no damage for a while. And you just got to play to that, you know? It's painful. Passed. Oh, so there goes the mind probe. Oh, crib. man, if he'd rolled that special. There goes the mind probe. Here. All right, let's see what he gets. Can he finish it here? Can he at least, can he at least uh, get... Rolls the special uh, on the Holocron. At least going to get those two shields off with on the hunt. Day late, dollar short. And has a couple specials, so he has some play here. Yeah, I think he going to blank the on, on the, the hunt, hunt which yeah. makes sense, because he could have gained the money, used the on the hunt, or moved the die. Damage and money, or damage and a shield with uh, training. You're gonna claim on Dylan's side. I'm not gonna bounce anything. Looks like gaining money, gaining that Tuscan shield, just what you wanted. Yeah, you know if Dylan could have could have gotten a few damage on Vader, if he could have actually, you know, really just need to kill Vader this turn. Yeah. And then then we got a ball game. Stalemated this one out. I think we have something here. Not convinced. As currently. it sits right now, it feels like he's just about to turn behind. Yeah. Because that's the thing, like that was a, a, an entire turn of a window there where Daniel really could have just put the hooks in on that one. Four or five damage on the Tuscan and the whole thing's over. All right, what focus, gun, shield, that's just not going to be enough. This Tuscan's just not, there's nothing to be done here. Yeah, he's not, not bringing the force this time. If you just, sometimes it helps, you just count the dice. <laughs> Seven to three. That's a score of somewhere. <laughs> it's an old school uh, way of just calculating who's about to maybe win this game. Mm, Raider Dana just bricks on the force throw there, but sees three. Got some sticks. Got some sticks. Got two shields and then immobilize. I almost like that play. Just playing fundies here too. I really like this from both of these guys. This deck is just mm, exactly take what I'm cover. Like. Take that cover. All right. Just an MVP. Would you oh, like this a shield? Could, this could be bad. Yeah. This will be painful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some guns. We got some guns. All right, these guns. All right, look at that. Just a little pew pew there from the Tuscan. <laughs> Wild West style. The only style. He still has a three showing on Vader. So it has a lot more damage. He doesn't like you. Just going to continue to stall this one out a little bit. Going to have to remove a die there, ideally. <laughs> or not. I mean, that's the best use of that card, of it's course. It's a good way to you get ahead, you know what I mean? Don't remove a die. Yeah. There it goes. And immobilize of all the dice to remove. I guess you're out is kind of holocron here. Yeah, the only way he gets in this in this game is if he gets a holocron special and plays something big. A force throw here would actually be pretty splendid. 
Yeah, because it'll give you potentially three back into Vader if he rolls it. Oh, and yeah, there's the throw, though, so that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're on the clock you here. You can try. And a focus <laughs> to three with Vader, probably. Yeah. Two on the Tuscan. One with a throw. Nope. And just, just misses again. Dylan doing a lot of a lot of weird rolls here. It's really unfortunate. And there's the intimidate. intimidate for two shields. Love seeing that medical. Yeah, I love all these zero cost cards. Double on the hunt and intimidate. Balance ambition. And there's the balance. Here. May as well keep fishing. And that one's from him. <laughs> it is indeed. Still only two dice in the pool. And turning Focus that to a holocron, holocron special, that's playing a bad fundies sign. Still, playing fundies. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We could take three damage now, or we could play it cool. Yeah, it's really easy not to play it cool. And uh, nothing. All right, what do we got? Here's the probe. Oh, money in the bank. And we just had a balance ambition from Dylan a, t t a card ago. So we still got four di four cards in hand. Rolls the special. Ouch, keys. Is that four? And does four plus a throw. Uh, make it five. Oh, man. Ouch. That's, that's, that's the madness, power of this deck. Zach. That is madness. This is well played. Very well controlled. Measured. Invader isn't even down yet. That hurts. If I were having a win meter right here, I think Dane would be at about 99%. I'd put him at about a good 110. Now, anytime you're rolling dice, you never really know what can uh, happen. What about the backup coming on? There you go. Know. That's not die related. Winnow meter now just goes <laughs> straight to 198%. In three turns, it definitely happened. Oh, we got another backup. Less relevant, though, unfortunately. Did you just run a d want to run a deck with three of those Guavian Enforcers and two backup muscles? But which one's the backup muscle? <laughs> that's the problem. It's the problem with every great crime right. team. Uh, that's right. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> yeah, who's who's in charge here? All right, we got six on old our friend the Tuscan, and there's, there's a four strike. There you go. Game. It's and a over. fist bump. Congrats. Way to go, both Daniel and Dylan. Very well done. The same deck makes it to the top four. Incredible. These guys could have easily been paired against other people and made it into the finals, playing each other. Which with would have been Vader insane. Raider. That's the dream, right? And I don't think a lot of people saw Vader Raider coming to the finals on this one. I didn't really even see it coming to the tournament. It's incredible. Well, well done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep playing.